Hello everyone. Today we're going to be working in Visual Studio writing an inline assembly language program uh, that will be doing some string functions such as capitalizing and uh, and then looping through a string doing capitalization and then we'll just use some uh, quick string functions to show how to uh, set an entire string to the same character value. So what I have up set up here is a C program, and we have initialized the character myCare set to uh, the value B, and we have a uh, character string in C which is set to the hello world string. And so what I want to try to do first, just uh, to start off very simple, is I want to show how to capitalize uh, this my character value. Uh, again, currently set to the value of B. Now, how exactly is that done? Well, uh, each of these will bring up the ASCII character code set here, and what you have here is that you can see that the uh, characters A through Z uh, values uh, de on the decimal of 65 through 90, and the lowercase characters uh, go 97 through uh, 122. So we can see that uh, these line up nicely and if, so if I want to capitalize, so if I want to capitalize a lowercase character a, I need to convert it over to the uppercase. So I need to go from the decimal nine, 97 to a decimal of 65. So basically just subtract 30, 32 and that holds true for all of the other characters. So, um, but first I have to decide that I am inside the lowercase character set and I simply do a couple comparisons to make sure that that's the case. I just may, need to make sure that uh, the value of my character is 97 or above, yet uh, below or equal to uh, the value of Z, which is 122. So, uh, in, in order to do that, uh, there's a couple ways. We could check to make sure that we're within both of those values, but it's actually going to be slightly more efficient simply to say, well, if it's outside of this value then let's not do the subtraction so so first we're going to do the comparison to a if it's outside that value we're simply going to skip it so we don't need to do a subtraction but if it if it does happen to be within that then we'll do the comparison to z uh, if it's outside of that range then we'll not do the subtraction however if both of those cases are true that it is greater than or equal to A and less than or equal to Z, then we'll subtract that 32 value. So, uh, and so the first question is, how do we address this character in C that's named my care? So uh, I'm going to copy that. And so what I need to do is I just got to need to do a comparison. So we'll inside. Uh, our ASM block here. We simply use the compare instruction and we'll compare my care to what I said was A. And of course note that uh, regular assembly language doesn't actually require the semicolon. That's a C thing but uh, it does help to align the characters a little bit so we might just go ahead and do that. Uh, unfortunately, the alignment isn't perfect, as we'll see, especially when we start putting in labels. And that's what's going to come up next here. So what I said was, is I want to um, do this comparison, but I'm going to jump um, outside. I'm going to jump based on this comparison that I've done. So if I do a uh, jump, I'm going to do a jump less. So in other words, if my character is uh, less than A, then I'm going to do, I'm going to skip, I have a, I'm going to have a label called no cap, and I'll set that up down here. So again, my first comparison is for A, but I have to do another comparison for Z. I'm just going to copy this real quick, change Z, 
Now in this particular case, we need to make sure this is above. So that's gonna be jump above. So uh, if my care is greater than the value of Z, then we're going to jump. Now I said, uh, in, in the case where both of those conditions are true, that's the situation where I'm going to do a subtract from that my care. And I have to set I did subtract 32. And that's it. So we can run this program. Oh, except for one small detail. Uh, I have this printing out, and I've got some C code down here that prints out my string. But in this particular case, what I'd really like to do is print out that value of this value of this this character, uh, which is just B, and we'll see if our program worked. And we can see that it did. It converted the uh, B over to of the lowercase b over to an uppercase b. And we can test that again. We'll test that with a uppercase c and make sure that that doesn't modify it. And as we, and I can step you through that process here. We'll see that for an uppercase c, note that the, uh, I have the disassembly listed here. And um, we can go over how that works. Now the what uh, assembly language is, of course, a, the, the human readable form of machine language. And uh, so this is the actual machine code that is created by the, uh, the assembler. So here's the address, the, the address of this very first byte for compare. Here, let's go step through this process. In this case, my care is capital C. So we're comparing that to A. Well, it is it is not it is actually less than the value of A because my care is 67, A is 97, so that jumped out. And now we're just going to print that out. Now if we want to let's try that again with a lowercase where the capitalization actually happens. We can step through that. And just click up here on the step into and we say compare my care to the uh, and again note that the so the breakpoint is going to stop before the instruction so I've just executed the instruction compare my care uh, to the, the to the uh, ASCII A there and and the arrow is pointing now to the next instruction so this instruction has not executed yet only this one has executed. Only this compare instruction has executed. So now uh, we say my care is 99 and A is uh, 97. So that is not less than, uh, that is not less than, so it's going to, it is not going to jump. We'll go to the next instruction. We'll compare my care again, 99 compared to a 122. And that also will not jump, so we're going to actually do the subtraction. So now my care is uh, set to 99. Now we're going to go execute the instruction that does the subtraction, and now my, we've subtracted off 32 from the 99, so we get uh, a 67. And of course, everything works correctly in that case. So. Now that we've done that, uh, what if we'd like to what if we'd like to actually do that operation with a string instead? Now there's a number of ways to approach this. Um, probably the simplest is simply to substitute in my string, and then we're going to offset that by some kind of register. So note that the uh, this that when we're working with these uh, C variables that it's actually really the same thing uh, having the braces around it or not even though technically it should be like this it's really a pointer this uh, this indicates that the instruction is using a, a pointer to that particular variable now actually I can go back and show you that the 
if you look at the disassembler, it's um, <clears throat> actually doing a, this actually ends up being a compare byte pointer my my str so that's that's the actual code that it creates but this is kind of a shortcut so and of course if you don't put the byte pointer so technically what i should have here is this but by default it actually will uh subs it'll actually put in the uh, byte pointer for us the easiest way to do looping in an in assembly language is to use the loop instruction. Loop instruction uses the um, ECX register for uh, to kind of count down as a, as a counter for itself. And what we want to do here is loop through the, the length of this hello world. And the easiest way to find that, I mean, I could count it out, but I can just make the uh, computer do the work for me and simply say length my str so it will it will go through it will go through the entire length of that string now in some cases if you're copying a string you should really note the fact that in c it will add a zero on here at the end to to uh, terminate the string if we look into memory we'll see that so uh, as i said though i need to have some sort of way to index this so um now what I could do is, you know, set up a something, some other register and initialize it to zero, and then I can increment that value. Uh, and so what I would do is put the put the offset into that pointer in our compare statement. Uh, but as it turns out, if I look at this, well, I've already got, I already have something that is indexing through. Um, except that uh, it's basically doing it backwards. We're starting at the ECX value and doing it backwards, but so but that's fine. That will work. So now for each of my where I had a my string, I'm going to substitute in that uh, my string plus ECX, and then down here. At my no cap, that's where I put my loop, and I'm going to loop call the loop my. And well, I said I was going to use EBX, but turns out I decided instead to use the ECX. So I'll put in my my label. So now we're going to be uh, indexing backwards, starting at the uh, exclamation point in this case and going backwards so, so I needed to change the value of uh, my care to my string to make that work properly and we can see now that uh, we have managed to capitalize hello world properly one of the last parts here is say how do we go through and set my string to some constant value. So um, let's say that value is x. We'll take the value of al and put it into the memory location addressed by edi in this case. So um, that's a very quick way. And, it, and the repeat function is also using this ecx as a counter. So we got very few lines of code to do uh, an initialization, and uh, in that particular case, it's our. As I said, uh, if you have an, you could have an issue here where it overwrites the uh, the that zero at the end of the string. So. So the length of that string actually did include that zero. So we simply have to sub subtract off one from that length so that it's not modifying the zero. Then that solves the problem. And well, that's all we have for today.